And today's starter, Cole Reagans. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work, and guys look up. It's deep into the ball game, and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this we guy. So look for him to do the same thing today. Maybe go the distance. And maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W. All right, ready to get underway. Digging in, Andy Abanez. Looking for his first big league hit right here. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next offering down in the dirt. Softly hit the third. Fires across the diamond. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Matt Veerling. And Book, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score, man. I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. Down base is empty. Got it by a good play. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games, he wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. Swung on, belted. Gone. He doinks it off the foul pole. He leaves the yard to right. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until he clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. And now, Justin Henry Malloy. Ball for a strike. The lefty fires. On the ground to third. Sends it to Perez. And that is the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City and taking the ball for Detroit, Casey Mize. And singing a special day for him. He's making his Major League debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. Go. He's got his Four family in town. I think this no moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. So up now for Kansas City, Tommy Pham trying to pick up his first Four. knock Four. in the big leagues. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. One out, base is empty. Ah. 
Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 3-2 on the way. Line drive, base hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Bobby Witt Jr. with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. On the ground, the third might be two. There's one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and here is Colt Keith. Colt Keith. Left-hand batter waits. Gets under and pops it up. With as this one sized up, calls it in, and there's one away. That is it. The first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. One down, base is empty. Ripped on the ground a second. Two up, two down. Out. Batting seven, the shortstop, Trey Sweeney. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Detroit, Trey Sweeney. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Started to go to one, two. A check on it to third. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Tigers are shut down there, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. Michael Massey. Here comes a pitch. A base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Michael hit. Massey with the his right first team. major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, a great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now it's Hunter Renfro. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, that was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And that's a strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, that but the pitcher will take that the all day hitter. long. Julius Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot Julius. that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes.
The Royals down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Ball. Two balls. Two strikes. And down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. And we're back. And the batter now, Dylan Dingler. Dylan Dingler. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. He goes down looking. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And that's, that's too ball. high, ball Take four. Now that the third baseman. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Andy Abanez. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and he breaks his back. Quick feed to second for one. Over to Perez for the inning ending double play. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Tigers one and the Royals nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And to the play for Kansas City, Paul DeYoung. Young. Looking to get the tying run on base. Down to ball here. Rolls foul. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Got him. That's One away out. on the strikeout. Oh, that slider was way out of the that zone. Again. And for me, it just comes down to not Body. seeing the pitch out of the hand, not Body. tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. That's pitch misses, and it's 2-1. and one. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? One down, base is empty. No, Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing, and he popped it up. Keith moving under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Batting none. The center fielder. And now it's Kyle Isbell. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in Kansas City, now the number two hitter, Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling. 
Hoog. And the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Sends it to Perez. That's the first out in the top of the four. Riley. Here's Riley Green. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Two outs, bases empty. And a good eye there. Next pitch is outside. 3-1. Right Here through right. there for a strike. Okay. Two down, nobody on. The 3 ball 2 ball. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there yeah, right. and just missed his That's spot. Hitter didn't cool. offer at it. Now he has somebody hmm. to worry about over at first. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the second baseman, Colt Heath. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Up the middle, Massey. They get the first, and that'll do it. Tigers lead one. They lead it one nothing. No left fielder. Tommy. Fan. In the air, right field. And it stays fair. Around first, digging for two. Here comes the throw. Save. Tommy Fan with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Substitution now at second base. On to run for the Royals, Garrett Hampson. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. So the tying run at second. And the count one and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. The one, two. Bounced up the middle. Sweeney on the run. Sends it over to first. He made it safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So runners at the corners. Nobody out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One, One and two. two. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Nobody out. The tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. At the belt and fires. 
And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on the Second inside baseman. part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Matthew. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now, Michael Massey. That's a little bit low. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a ball popped up. He's under it. Brings it in. And there are two outs. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Number Just got underneath 15. it a little bit and popped it up. Hunter. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level is going up a few notches for sure. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. Throw on to Torkelson. And Renfro is retired. And that is the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four. It's the Tigers one and the Royals nothing. Now into the ball game on defense, Garrett Hampson. He'll be out in left field. Number two, Garrett Spencer Torkelson. Up now for the Tigers. The first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And now the lefty. That one a little bit high. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Two two. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And here it comes. Fly ball to right. Renfro in position. And out number one on the grab. Now batting. The football. And now it's going to be Sweeney. Trey Sweeney. And that's in the dirt. Ball strike right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Renfro snags it for the second out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to up really drive the it. The Two catcher. outs, space is empty. Dylan. And next up for the Dingler. Tigers, Dylan Dingler. And the pitch. In the air, right field. Renfro makes the grab, and that's the inning. We head to the bottom Yuli of the fifth. The Yuli Royals. Gurriel comes up the to hit. Hitter, Yuli and the right hander deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He's pitching well, One, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Sweeney tosses the first out, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. A one-run lead, and yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. 
Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Last chance for the Royals. And now Freddie Fermin. Yeah, that's outside. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Last half of inning number five. The right-hander okay. gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very okay. aggressive secondary lead. So fall okay. down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The pitch. Lifted to left, and this should do it. And that'll do it. The Tigers strand the tying run on base to win it. Mize gets his first big league win, and what a performance he put together to do it. Singing a complete game. Feels like one of those outings you can only dream about. I doubt he went out there today thinking that he's going to go the distance, but he had it all working, and they let him finish the job. I love that. That was something special. Very cool to see. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.